Well, this is a mighty day indeed, because this is the first time we've ever seen Bloodhound, the thousand mile uh, Lansby record car, together in one piece. First of all, you've got the steering gear, you've got the front suspension, as you can see, this has all been carefully machined, and these disc wheels, with the, there's not a lot of tread on them, a sort of push rod, pull rod suspension, with the, the springs running longitudinally down the vehicle. Next up on the car is Andy Green's office. Now, this is the first time we've seen this on the car, and as you can see, the poor man isn't going to have a lot of space in there, and this massive air intake just above his head. What we do know is he's had a seat especially moulded in carbon fibre for him, and we're using 3D printing techniques. They've made a steering wheel to suit his hands. Moving down the fuselage or body, no one quite knows what it's called, we come across the first of three engines that are with this car. In this case, it's a five litre V8 supercharged from a Jaguar F-Type. No mean sports car in its own right, but in this case, all this has to do is turn the fuel pumps. Sitting over the top of it, in, at one time, in fact, it was behind the engine, but now it is on top, is a mighty, mighty thing indeed. And that's an EJ200 uh, Typhoon jet engine. Surplus to requirements in MOD speed. So it runs its air from over Andy's head into the engine, which is in here. And that provides the baseline thrust for the car. So you can still see parts of the jet engine. This is where the fuel is mixed with the air, providing nine tonnes of thrust, which it throws out of the back. Here we are at the business end of the jet engine, and this will be pouring out nine tonnes of thrust in the form of fire, brimstone, and, well, a lot of uh, horsepower. But it's underneath this car where things get really interesting. And this, is a, this will have a hybrid rocket, which means they can turn it off and turn it on. So don't use the phrase like blue touch paper. Now, initially, one rocket motor from NAMO in Norway, and who knew they developed rock, uh, uh, rocket engines, will sit in this circle here. And that will be enough to take the car at Hackskin Pan next year to 800 miles an hour. But to get it from 800 to 1,000 miles an hour, they're going to need three. Give them 12 tonnes of thrust in total. And they'll be arrayed across here. Clearly, that will have to be remade. All the suspension will have to be remade. The springs, remember from the front, instead of going uh, across the car as they do here, will be like the uh, front suspension and they will run longitudinally with the car. So what we're seeing, although it's the real car, it's work in progress. This is the car that will run initially, but whether it runs ultimately, only time will tell.